red light. I see the red light as well. Beautiful. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Rating Arizona. Beers brought to you by the wonderful King's Beer and Wine located on Central and Thomas. In Midtown Phoenix. Oh, man. I didn't know. I was looking for some reason. Seriously? I look at the map even if I'm just driving. Like, I know I, get, I need to go down the 17 and then <laughs> Jefferson. I still look. And I'm like, oh, shit, it's labeled as Midtown. Wow. Yeah. So we're it sounds in, much fancier yeah, than uh, I we're thought. Here in, we're here in Midtown up against the grass wall. The What do you call it? The batter's eye? Yeah, that's the batter's eye. So and you man. learned something and you kept retained that knowledge of the batter's eye. So 40 good. seconds in, you guys are getting a lesson in all kinds of shit. So welcome. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, you know, we're your hosts. Um, my name is Marcus. And I'm Eric Walters. I'm Brewery 602. Tap that AZ podcast and a taste of AZ. Our new magazine, our uh, October issue is going to be out in about a week, depending on when you're listening to it. Uh, October 1st is approximately when it's coming out. So nice. check it out. It's going to be a really cool cover. I like it. It's, uh, it's like a greenish cocktail. Hmm. Which sounds weird, so make sure you check it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to jump into this right away, right? Yes. Let's do it. So this uh, actually is a beer out of Flying Bassett Brewing Company, uh, located in, would we call that? Uh, Gilbert. Gilbert? Okay, Gilbert, so Arizona. yeah, that's Gilbert, yep. Arizona. Yep. Uh, this is El Capitan. It's a lager coming in at 4.8% ABV. And uh, yeah, Flying Bassett. I was just there... Uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe yeah. three or four weeks ago, something like that. Um, was doing a little bit of a just a little tour, a little <laughs> on track. My own. A little yeah, track. I was like, <laughs> you know, I was kind of wanting some lunch, so swung by a hell of a okay, um, nice. And then I was like, you know, Flying Bassett is a hop, skip, and a jump away. So yeah. I, I went to Flying Bassett, had a few beers. Um, but the man, uh, Mr. Archuleta. Kicks ass, man. <laughs> Archie's kicks ass. Love, love me some Archie. He's he's yeah. an absolute amazing human being. Yeah. Um, a little little kooky, a little kooky with the uh, <laughs> with his uh, side gigs and all the stuff that he does. But he is a workaholic and yeah. uh, an amazing brewer. So the amount of energy that man has oh is incredible, is incredible. And his wife Maria, she's badass too. She's like front of house, understands you know, and and for them to. Uh, to, to really take Flying Bassett to this next level, in my opinion, I really think they have. Yeah, uh, I for mean, sure. It's, it's, his beers are on point. Um, Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, so cheers to them. Do you know what kind of lager this is? Did you look at the notes? I did. I, would, I, I did not, but, I mean, El Capitan, you would think that's like a, a Mexican lager. All right, man. Your, your common sense is much greater than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I would have struggled. I would have struggled with that for a long time because it says pale lager in the general, I guess, the general untapped kind of category. Gotcha. But uh but yeah, so well, what? Yeah, man, this is. I'm excited to try this one. Yeah, me too. And uh, you know, um, so El Capitan means the Capitan. Ah, it's like El Nino. El Nino, El Nino. means El Nino. El Nino. Oh, hey, real quick, uh, I wanted to say this too about Flying Bassett. Um, I know for a while they didn't have food. Uh, they had food right. for the longest time, and then they took the, getting their beer on point. So they were like, "Hey, we'll figure the food out later." Now they have a Philadelphia Sandwich Company there. Yeah, yes, making some amazing cheesesteaks and whatever else they do. Yeah, and there was so. yeah there was food popping out of there, um, and then they just uh, had poured their concrete and they were waiting on much larger That's right. tanks and they just got, they got them not too long ago. Nice. So now they have more capacity Heck yeah. because, you know, it's not a bad thing to need more tanks when you're selling as much beer as they are. So. For sure. And they're in distribution too, right? This yes. one's on draft here at Kings. One of the um, 80 <laughs> that they have. Yes. Uh, one of the 80 taps that they have. Uh, this is number 35 at this moment, but uh, flying bass has been putting things out in cans for, I mean, shit, at least since the pandemic since the beginning of the pandemic yeah, yeah um sure. so you see them in a lot of places and uh archie does a really cool job he's a he's an artist too. i was gonna say he designs the artwork the can, on yeah them too, yeah i i think their their cans are some of the best um but uh, but uh, yeah i've seen el capitan in in cans multiple yep. times so uh yeah let's let's get this let's thing get rocking. The, yeah let's get a drive-by aroma on it I mean, well, I mean, it, yeah, it smells like a lager. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it, it, it definitely, uh, you could smell uh, like a, ad, maybe maybe it's not fully, like ad, has a bunch of adjunct in it, but you definitely do get almost like that, uh, like corn or maize kind of thing, you yeah, know, corny for sure um, aroma out of it. Now, and, and maybe, now, so is a Vienna lager and a Mexican yeah. style lager the same thing? Is yeah, this? Vienna lager is essentially your Mexican lager. 
um, when the Germans, the Yermans came down, uh, went into Mexico and they were, they brought their, that style of, of lager and yeah, Vienna lager is yeah. basically your Mexican lager now. So, so is that what this is? I would, you would yeah, say? I would say Vienna yeah. lager. Yeah. Because, sure. and the reason I ask is because when I, when I smell it, um, I t- typically I don't like I like lagers I do uh, but I'm kind of picky about them like if it's too malty or too you know like dark lagers I don't like it so I mm-hmm. my mind automatically goes with Vienna lager that it's going to be that way yeah. right mm-hmm. um, is that typically how it is yeah this oh, yeah. is not I don't think this is a, this has got more lightness to it it's got more uh, m- more on my side of the w- the way I like a lager yeah, yeah it smells real clean um, you do get there's a little bit of hop character in there that you can smell as well. I got to turn these notes over because I want to, I want to, <laughs> dude, you need to take my phone away when we start recording, oh. dude. I'm like a little child over here. Yeah, now. He's going to just start like flipping through and what are we doing again? <laughs> well, it's fun because as you're describing it, like one of the, the descriptors were flaked uh, is flaked corn. So okay. when you were talking about the corn part, I'm like, yeah. damn, you nailed that one. So I'm, then my next description, I'm like, oh, this, and then I read it. So get this thing the hell out of here. Man. <laughs> I need to drink. That's, we've yes, been here let's for. Let's do that. Yeah. So uh, thanks a bunch to Kings and uh, Kings. Flying Bassett. Cheers. Flying Bassett. We're about to put you in the microscope. That's really good. God, that's so good. That's really good. Now, my first thought is, uh, it, you know, I, okay, I, I won't even really. I put an asterisk on this. But these have been sitting here for a while while we were setting up. It was a little lowly carbonated for me. Okay. Right? I like carbonation. I know sometimes with lighter beers, it's pretty minuscule. Yeah. Uh, I would assume once uh, when this thing is first poured, it's probably yeah more yeah. lovely. Yeah, we, we we didn't do very much respect by letting it sit here for like ten minutes before we actually started recording. So yeah, um, but I mean it's 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 delicious. It's still delicious very beer. Good. I mean yeah, very very clean. You definitely get that corn kind of thing going. It, it it hits differently for me. It hits differently like on the f- initial taste. Sure, and then it on the back end tastes different so yeah. like it, it has like a really good corn big pop up front and then at the in the end it trails with like that hop character uh and real smooth you know again uh, that lager yeah kind of thing salinity kind of thing it, it just like real clean and that stupid word balanced kind of yeah. thing <laughs> people love or hate that that's yeah. a very polarizing w- word in in beer uh but no you're right what what i like about it is and maybe it's because my you know my palate hasn't been impacted by anything but like coffee two hours ago right been okay. my palate's been clean uh but it sits there right it, it's not it doesn't to me it's it's I don't want to mean this not in a bad way. It's not a crusher type beer, right? You can take a drink and that flavor sits there for a minute. You can kind of relish it a little it's, bit, you know? It's really, yeah. Really yeah. flavorful. Like, yeah, I, I, I dig it, man. Yeah. And, and by the way, I would crush this beer. I would too. <laughs> I would too. I mean, it's like it's not a crusher. I'm like, man, I'd be, I'd be crushing me some of these. <laughs> try to grow up here a little oh, bit. Yeah, I'm trying to be a little more mature. But uh, no, for sure. I, I, yeah. I mean, as far as. Um, you know, again, they call them Mexican lagers, Vienna lagers, and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I still don't uh, taste the difference when they're uh, like a craft, yeah. quote unquote, Mexican lager with, because, you know, when you drink your typical Mexican lagers, like a Modelo, Modelo, or, yeah, yeah, Dos Equis, and stuff like that, they have a different. It's, I have not had a craft beer that could mimic that style of lager. Meaning, like, they've nailed it. Like they've got they've got that right. down, yeah. right? So right. I have I still haven't had that. So you know everyone has their own interpretation of that. Sure, you know yeah. what I mean. And this is this is a really good interpretation of that mm-hmm. um, that style of lager. So, I mean. dude, I like that. I like that you said that because somebody that knows beer uh, is is a you're a craftsman yourself when it when it comes to the beer um, to to put like a a you know. The number one hipster beer now. It used to be PBR, and now it is Modelo, right? Yeah, <laughs> Modelo. Yeah. But to, to put that at like, hey, these guys crush it. That's great because it's being honest and it's not trying to just sound cool because, like, I don't support popular. You yeah. know, fucking popular is goddamn good. There's it's, a reason it's popular. It's <laughs> really know? good and it's yeah. consistent. That's consistent the hardest thing in the world sure. to do, you know. Yep. So, but yeah, this, this is actually a great interpretation. I've had a yeah. lot of um, quote unquote Mexican loggers and craft loggers that are really just kind of too sweet yeah. or, or too hoppy yep. or too, you know what I mean? And you're just like, mm, it's, they did not get it. This here is, is different. Like this actually 
does have a real bright taste to it. It does yep. feel well attenuated. It feel, you know what I mean? It's like For sure. Well executed. Yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> Josh, you did great, man. You did great. great. Um, so now you have to grade this up against Modelo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, no, no. So uh, we'll we'll grade it against Soul. Okay, <laughs> yeah. which is no. a good one too, right? That's I actually, like them all. Man. I like actually all I of really them too. Do. I really I do. Know. I'm a sucker for for a good Mexican lager. Um, yeah, you know. But anyways, yeah. I mean, grading. So uh, well, if you're grading this against other craft Vienna lagers, sure. I mean, this is a nine point four. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because sure. now we're grading against. You know, there's been a few that I've had um, out of places that. Main are known for their loggers. <laughs> I don't want to name any names yeah. um, in Tempe, uh, downtown, uh, Petal House. Um, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know that's that's Doc, <clears throat> right? Uh, that's uh, that uh, is yeah, Mr. Doc, Osborne. You know. it's, it's kind of hard to compete. And in Josh would probably be like, "Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, <laughs> if I'm yeah. gonna, if, if someone's gonna be a little bit above B, we'll go ahead and go that way yeah. when it comes to doing a, a logger of for something. sure. So, yep. but but this is again, this is pushing that pushing dock a little bit yeah you know what i mean i agree man yeah. i really agree if the, yeah for sure if this beer was poured for me at pedal house i would be hell yeah right because yeah. to me pedal house is that one place that um you can really take anybody to right and you can take any of your friends whether your friends are the bud light type guys or this or that yes and you have confidence and like, okay, I'm taking them to a good place. Yeah. Because no matter what they get, it's going to be great. If my one buddy said, he, oh, dude, I like Oktoberfest, and you take them to brewery A or B, it's hit or miss, yes, right? You could be sure. like, oh, dude, that's not that. You're, you almost have a guarantee oh when God. you go to Paddle House, when you have that. I mean, Doc, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I, get all, I get all wrapped in my words when I talk about Doc. <laughs> yeah, I, the dude's just awesome. And then you talk to him, and... He's just the most interesting. Dude, you'll be 20 minutes into a conversation about uh, amateur radio, right? I don't know if he's ever talked about his yeah. amateur radio, but... No, I can never get him to stop talking about his trips to Germany. <laughs> right. That's so, the... So that's your thing. Those I get stories, the, yeah. I get the amateur radio. You get the, the German stories. <laughs> yeah. That's great. But uh, but now, um, Josh, nice work with this. You say 9.45. Mm -hmm. uh, I say... I, I, I'm going to one-up you a little bit and say 9.5. Yeah. Uh, just no, no, right. making it even number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Excellent work, man. Yeah, excellent work. And, and, you know, thanks a lot again to Kings for, uh, you know, pouring this for us and for having us come here and, and drink beer. Oh, I mean, I was I was dreading this this I morning know. when I woke like, up. Oh, I was like, man, man, I got to go drink beer. The, wife, the kids were yelling at each other. I'm like, man, I want to be here to help you, honey, but I got to go work. Got to go work. Yeah, you know, so yeah, that's shit to do. So yeah, we really appreciate it. And, yeah. and, you know, we thank you guys for watching as well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, supporting us. And, we're, you know, hopefully we're going to be coming up uh, and, and getting our getting our heads together on doing something uh, more intimate. Yeah. Yes. So we would so love to do something in more on. intimate that you guys could join in on. So mm -hmm. if that sounds cool, please comment and uh, let us know what you think. Yep. And again, thanks a bunch for uh, Flying Bassett and Kings. So thanks Cheers, for watching, guys. guys. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. But you know it's okay.